you to twerk on our X-Pine TV. I'm Vining Osan. Please stand for Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, March 29th, 2021. Let's go to Randy to see what's happening today in history. Thank you, Vaughn. Today in history, March 29th, 1945, the presidency of Harry S. Truman began. Truman became president of the United States after the untimely death of Franklin D. Roosevelt and ended on January 20, 1953. He had been vice president for only 82 days before becoming president. And in this short time, he surely had to solve several wartime problems, including the unsolved difficulties of Soviet Russia. For sure, this was not the best time to be enjoy as a president. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. This week, we are highlighting some very popular extreme sports for our adventure seekers. Last November, 21-year-old Special Olympics athlete Chris Nicky became the first person with Down syndrome to complete an Ironman triathlon. He completed a 2.4-mile swim, a 112-mile bike ride, and a 26.2 marathon at the competition held in Florida in 16 hours and 46 minutes. Chris works to make every day better than the day before, and throughout his training and competing, he inspired others in the Down syndrome community and showed that anything is possible. Now let's go to Onalicia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is crunchy chicken tenders, mixed veggies, diced pears, barbecue sauce, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go to Sonia for our National Week segment. Thank you, Annalicia. Good morning, Patriots. The end of this week marks the beginning of the month of April, which happens to be National Hope Week. This week reminds us to stay hopeful. Due to all the struggles and hardships the entire world has faced over the past year, it's good to take a step back for a bit of hope. Hope for a better future, a better time, and overall better stability for everyone around you. It doesn't all have to be big things to hope for. It can range from hoping for a better time to hoping lunch comes sooner. I hope you scholars have a marvelous rest of your week. Happy National Hope Week. Let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots in kindergarten first and second grade, get ready because this Thursday, April 1st, is the Renaissance at Pines Easter Egg Hunt. In addition to the Easter Egg Hunt, in-person students, kindergarten through second grade, can dress down in pastel colors for $1. Get ready to have an excellent day! Now let's go see what the weather's going to be like today with David. Thank you, Vani. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be... 86 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Looks like a good day to go outside and take a breath of fresh air. Now let's go to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, Dee. And here's today's joke of the day. Why did the dinosaur cross the road? Because chickens didn't exist yet. No one's going to solve it for today's birthdays. Thank you, Samuel. Great joke. Today's birthday boys and girls are Justin Ortiz, Leandre Clark, and Billy Solano. Happy birthday, and let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations are represent. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. No one had the correct answer to last week's riddle, which was, what do lions have that no other animal has? The correct answer to the riddle was, a baby lion or a baby cub. Now for today's riddle, what should you keep after you give it? Again, what should you keep after you give it? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day.